Well, good afternoon. This is Betty Meredith, President of the Retirement Resource Center, and I'm happy to be your session host today for the Advisor's Guide to Health Savings Accounts Differentiate Yourself with Kelly Long, CPA, PFS, CFP. Funding health care costs and long-term care in retirement is a key concern for most Americans. Having to use retirement accounts for health care expenses stymies tax and income planning for retirees while also drawing down savings faster than planned. Health savings accounts may not be a large part of clients' investing portfolios yet, but as this tool is becoming better understood as a source of wealth accumulation rather than a spending account, advisors who bring advanced planning strategies around these accounts can set themselves apart from the competition while also growing their assets under management. This webinar will offer advanced planning techniques that most HSA account holders are not aware of, while also giving practical tips on implementing this advice in your marketing and business development efforts to set you apart from your competition. Kelly Long is a personal finance expert and financial wellness coach who is on a personal mission to empower all people to feel and be great with money. She is a certified financial planner professional as well as a certified public accountant and is frequently cited in the media, including the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, the Washington Post, and Reuters. With over 20 years of various roles in the financial services industry, Kelly left her most recent full-time position as, as senior financial planner and personal financial coach with Financial Finesse after five years of changing the financial lives of employees throughout the United States. Financial Finesse is often credited with starting the financial wellness industry in 1999 and is still the leading provider of unbiased workplace financial wellness programs. And her experience, therefore, informs her consulting and speaking work today. So, Kelly, thanks so much for being here with us today. I'm so looking forward to this presentation, and I'll now turn it over to you. Thanks, Betty. I'm super excited to be here and talk about something that uh, when I talk to non-financial professionals makes me sound like a real geek, but in our world um, really um, is something that I think we all uh, yearn to know more about. And I have a lot of uh, personal experience in uh, learning about this through my own mistakes, which I know for a lot of us, that's how we learn best about particularly personal finance. Um, a few a few tidbits just to uh, kind of frame uh, my credentials around this specific topic. Um, you know, while during my time with Financial Finesse, I actually had the opportunity to co go on a bit of a roadshow for a Fortune 500 manufacturer that was rolling out an HSA eligible plan and they wanted to uh, educate their employees as best they could about the option and encourage them to, to adopt the plan. And so I was part of creating that program and did, I can't even count how many times I presented this to employees. Um, I've also been involved in a partnership with an HSA provider to educate their clients. So this is something that I've been talking about a lot over the last couple of years, and I'm really excited to share some ahas with my colleagues in the financial advisory world and uh, kind of get into the meat right away. So you may have heard the HSA referred to as the new 401k. And when I say that, what I mean is 20 years ago when the 401k first came out, it was kind of thought of as something for just you know, executives and higher income or more savvy planners, but now it's become something that pretty much everyone ha at least knows of and, and wants. Um, it's definitely kind of the every man's retirement savings vehicle. And the HSA, I think, is quickly becoming kind of the, the secondary to that, but we're going to, it's not going to take 20 years for people to realize the value here. Uh, in fact, uh, a recent report from uh, Denevere reported that over $17 billion are already invested in HSAs, and that's a 32% increase year over year from 2019 to summer of 2020. The average balance of accounts that has invested assets in it is $15,000, and that's only growing uh, exponentially. So while that doesn't sound like a lot of money in terms of, um, you know, typical financial advisory world, that is a, a huge, there's a huge opportunity there because the, those uh, accounts that do hold investments are only about 5% of all accounts. And as um, people learn more and more about this and as HSA eligible healthcare plans become more and more available, we're just gonna see that number balloon. The thing that I really wanna point out is that at this point, over three quarters of HSA assets are employer related, meaning that people have their HSA through their employer plan. And so in their mind, it's paired with their uh, healthcare plan, but that is where the opportunity lies, particularly for the industry, as well as for just uh, all of us as consumers of healthcare. 
So let's go over a quick review of the basics, and then we're going to talk about some advanced facts and strategies. I want to make sure that everybody's clear on uh, how HSAs work, you know, how they don't work, clear up some common myths and misconceptions, hopefully uh, point out some facts about HSAs that you didn't know, and then we'll, we'll briefly go over a few ways that you can incorporate this into your practice, even if you're not able to hold HSA assets yet.